That's another practice session, 30 minute and five second game. Let's see how we get on. Let's just develop the bishop, attacking the knight. And shall we castle? Yeah, I think I missed an opportunity there, but never mind. Because I could have taken the knight, then grabbed the pawn. But let's probably still get it back anyway. Let's open up the dark square bishop. Keeping it simple. And attack the bishop. Usually they just go back because they want to link the pawns up. If not, we try and build on the power base of this half open file. It's not captured, he's not done any of those moves whatsoever. Wants to double our pawns up. Okay, we're happy with that. Let's get an attack formation going. Give us a pathway to attack you. Taking the time. Well, not interested. Let's attack. Shall we take it? Well, same thing that we said before. You know, they just want to link up the port bishops. So I'm actually going to not force them to take our bishop but it looks like they're going to run out of space unless of course they push this pawn here which they have done so I'm thinking that this is better for us if we take then they take they've linked up the pawns we can push and then if they're looking to lock down then I think it might work for us. Is there anything better? If we take here, we're giving them a bit, bit of a power base, attacking the um, pawn. If we push now, then again, it could still go a little bit funky, but the knight has a nice position on the board. And just leave the bishop like that. But they could always just push down. I think they'll just push down. I'm gonna push, I think they'll just push. I thought so it's a bit bad for the bishop at the minute it's just acting as a, as a pawn but our pawn is not yet blocking this area so we need to either move the knight so that we can if we're in time I don't think we're going to be in knight push not that that's advantageous but yeah let's push and just lock it down stonewall looking type thing so what's the next thing then head of the snakes uh, all supported at the moment. Dark Square Bishop's not in the game. We do have free reign to manoeuvre towards their king side now. Maybe getting the queen here. Do we go for this take, take thing? Maybe try and scrabble a draw because the Dark Square Bishop's not there anymore. So they'll be scratching. This one can attack the head of the snake here. Queen's coming down, looking maybe to support this potential attack that we're going to be putting here. Knight looking to jump around. White square bishop wants to get into the game. Maybe they preempt and just push down. Take, take, take. Massive take fest just to get towards the king area. All right, um, let's take. I didn't even bat an eyelid, did I? I'm just taking and just um, getting towards this king area if I can. So, it's not interested in any of that. So, we could take the pawn. Just taking the pawn. Not ignoring what they're doing. It's just, well, if I can get towards this king area, then that's all good. Let's go for the king. I think he's going to be able to block, though. So, it's not going to be as drawish as I'm thinking. 
because his knight's just going to jump here. Do I have tempo to get my knight up somewhere to a half decent position? Yeah, okay, so he's gone to that side, so it might give us time for the knight to move and move. I'm going to try it anyway. Fateful square probably is here, so maybe they're going to bring the bishop back. Yep, and just attack the bishop again, so it's going to be safe here. I think it's going there. Either here or here. So he doesn't want our knight jump into this square. Because then that would be Chakamita. So we probably should have taken the bishop off the board with the pawn. I was just fearful of losing tempo in some way. Maybe his knight moving and getting his queen in. And so I'm going to push this pawn. I don't think they should allow us so they're going to have to take get the rook here two on one on the on the knight see if we get that blocked off although in a way that's the put that's the square i want isn't it for my knight so they could actually just leave it there this is no good for us because his knight's just gonna whoa what's happened so he wants the queen coming in that's the annoying thing queen's coming here and going for the exchange we don't want that so if we come here then his queen can't come here and then we get the checker mater yeah let's go here that's what my brain's seeing. Anyway, he can't do it, can it? White square bishop can't do anything magical, can it? Oh, come on. Cut me some slack. I didn't even see any of that. Oh, rook here. Check. Let's move. Rook here. Get the check on. <laughs> God, I didn't see that. Oh, the pushing down to save the square. Now we've got the rook potentially being able to put pressure on. Does he bring his rook into the game, spoiling the show? That would be a massive take fest, won't it? Oops, excuse me. I'm going for it anyway. So he goes one. He's got two pieces defending. So we sh should we not win out? Yeah. Knight takes. No, rook takes on the queen. So we win his queen. And checkmate if his queen takes. Awesome. 